I got to warn you, be ready for those <laughs> germs to spread. With so many kids going to school, they're going to be in one place. And so here with a scoop on hand, foot, and mouth disease is Dr. Selena Moore with West Boca Medical Center. Where were you a month ago when I got the phone call? Oh, my Probably goodness. Probably in the office. <laughs> wow, this is just really interesting. Um, a telltale sign, obviously, the rash, the bumps. What right. else should you look for? So usually you have a couple of days of what we call malaise. So you don't really feel well, a little bit of fever. And then once the rash starts, you know you're dealing with hand, foot, and mouth. Gosh. So you start off with some ulcers inside the mouth. Usually the child will stop eating and drinking because they mm. hurt. And then you can have a non-itchy rash on the palms of the hands and the soles of the feet as well. Once this thing breaks, I mean, yes. it, it just spreads. Is there anything you can do if you have your child in school or daycare, though, to keep them from getting in? The big thing is hand washing. Okay. Where we with, have a, with a lot of infectious diseases caused by viruses. But hand, foot, and mouth is caused by a family of viruses called enterovirus, which is also spread through fecal matter. So changing diapers, you have to make sure you always wash your hands after changing the diapers. And this virus can also live on doorknobs and toys and other non-human surfaces. Got it, got as it. Well. Talking to some parents, they seem to think too that uh, they kind of caught some of the symptoms. Is that yes. possible? Yes. Okay, so it can spread from child to adult. Yes, usually under the age of five, they get what we call the classic hand, foot, and mouth with the fever and the rash and the mouth sores. But adults can just feel a little bit off without having any of the symptoms. And the problem is there is that we can continue to spread it. Fever, one of those side effects? One of the signs of the virus is fever, okay. yes. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, can you treat it or is it just a matter of keeping your child comfortable? Right, since it's a virus, antibiotics don't work. And so is what we call supportive measures. So there lots of fluids, which is especially important when you have a child with a fever, to keep that fever down so they don't become dehydrated because they're not going to want to drink because their mouth hurts. So basically don't go to the pediatrician and parent and ask for antibiotics. It's, it's just not, not going to work. Not going to work. Any last things that we should know? Popsicles. Oh, yes. Popsicles. We like when the yes. doctor says popsicles. <laughs> popsicles and it's ice soothing. cream. It's soothing. Yes. Mm, I bet your kids are going to try to use that one. <laughs> All right, Dr. Moore, thanks so much. My